Hey everyone, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we are going to be covering Katie Britt proposes federal database to collect data on pregnant people. Now, um, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, there has been a lot of comparisons between uh, GOP policies and proposals and things like The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, this is another push into that direction, and I believe it should be covered because this is a proposal by a woman who, while advocating for the Lions Eat Faces party, somehow suspects that the Lions will never eat her face. So, let's let's get into this, okay? <clears throat> Katie Britt proposes federal database to collect data on pregnant people. Republican U.S. Senator from Alabama, best known for delivering widely ridiculed State of the Union speech in March. Yeah, so we already have that under our belts as something that needs to be remembered and um, rightly ridiculed. Because, by the way, if you want to see the absolute best parody of that, I recommend you check out the SNL parody featuring uh, Scarlett Johansson. She does an amazing job of absolutely tearing her a new one. So, um, if you have not seen it, I recommend you do so. All right, let's scroll down here. Katie Britt, the Republican U.S. Senator from uh, Alabama, best known for delivering the widely ridiculed State of the Union speech in March, marked the run-up to Mother's Day on Sunday by introducing a bill to create a federal database to collect data on pregnant people. The More Opportunities for Moms to Succeed, Moms Act, proposes to establish an online government database called Pregnancy.gov, listing resources related to pregnancy, including information about adoptive agencies and pregnancy care providers, except for those that provide abortion-related services. Now, this alone should already just have your warning sirens going off left, right, and center. If it doesn't, um, that probably says more about you than it does anything else. This situation uh, wholeheartedly does uh, scream of the pro-birther, forced birther movement. The fact that they... Uh, are setting up a database for pregnant folks means that they'll be able to track your information. And considering we have numerous states that are attempting to restrict in-country movement, especially between states, for abortion and uh, uh, reproductive health care uh, access, this, this again, speaks volumes. Keep in mind, as I made a statement previously about the comparison between this and The Handmaid's Tale, in The Handmaid's Tale, if you, uh, if you abort a baby, uh, the penalties were severe, and I do believe up to including death. And this is not something that has gone unnoticed by Republicans, who have, on multiple accounts, uh, wanted to um, impose uh, murder charges against those who get an abortion. Not to mention murder charges against those who provide and perform abortions. So keep that in mind. The bill specifically in, uh, forbids any entity that performs, induces, refers for or counsels in favor of abortions from being uh, uh, from being listed in the database, which would effectively eliminate swads of OBGYN services and sexual health clinics across the country, not to mention the doctors themselves. The website would direct users to enter their personal data and contact information. And although Brit's communication director said the site would not collect data on pregnant people, obviously already... Uh, uh, prove wrong by the first sentence of this paragraph. Page three of the bill states that users can take an assessment through the website to provide consent to, to use the user's uh, contact information. 
once you give them that information, even if you don't consent, they're going to do it anyway. They're going to find a loophole. There will be a loophole built in. There's going to be some sort of backdoor reasoning. They have the, they have the information. That's enough. They can change the stipulations at any time. They can be like, no, 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 no. You have to give consent. You have to give consent. You have to give consent. And then they're going to turn around. They're going to change the user agreement or turn around and change something else and be like, no, we have access to it now. We can do whatever we want with it. You already gave it. Can't take it back. Once the genie's out of the bottle and all that kind of uh, metaphor, you know? Um, which may, uh, Page three of the bill states that users can take an assessment through the website to provide consent uh, to use the user's contact information, which government officials may use to, quote, con uh, to conduct outreach via phone or email to follow up with users on additional resources that would be helpful for the users to review. That's going to be pushing pro-birther propaganda. That is going to be uh, pushing disinformation about uh, abortion services and that is going to be tracking your pregnancies because let's face it you're probably going to be signing up for something like this at the very start or at least in the early trimester I would think maybe if something's starting to go wrong maybe second I, I can't think of being much further along than that that you're going to be signing up for something like this. Because I figure if you're in late stage and you need an abortion done, you know, because something has gone critically wrong with your uh, with your pregnancy, at that point, you're not signing up for a website to get information. You're getting service from a hospital, from a clinic, from someone to get something resolved immediately. That would be my feeling and my perspective. Obviously, if... You know, you're somebody who actually has pregnancy capability, woman or otherwise. Um, it's a case of uh, I, I would I would default to your experience or your point of view. All right, let's keep moving down this this horror show that is our government. Britt introduced the legislation on Thursday alongside two co-sponsors, uh, fellow Republican senators Rubio and Kramer of North Dakota. In a statement, Britt said the bill was proof that you can absolutely be pro-life, pro-woman, and pro-family at the same time. That's basically all the same damn thing and is summed up easily with pro-birth or even pro-forced birth. Adding that the legislation advances a comprehensive culture of life, forced birth, for mothers and children to live their American dreams, even if they can't afford it, even if it's a pregnancy as a result of an assault, rape, or otherwise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. American dream, right? Because that's what every woman wants. Every woman out there is looking to have their pregnancy be completely out of their hands, be completely at the subject of the whims of the government, and people who are not their health care provider this would also be including the insurance companies who are going to say nah you don't need that procedure nah we don't cover that because we don't believe in it yeah these are things that can happen and do happen keep that in mind yeah American dream my ass <sighs> today I'm proud to introduce more opportunities but that's her whole thing I'm not going to play her stupid little video um Critics have noted that the database of pregnancy support centers would provide misleading information in an effort to dissuade women from seeking abortions. Axios noted that uh, the bill would also provide grants to anti-abortion nonprofit organizations. So in other words, those uh, weird helplines that give you misinformation, it's going to support them. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually supports militants who are going to uh, enact violence. Because I'm sure there's a backdoor way that they're going to try and fund that. It feels very Republican. The state of Alabama, which Britt represents, already has one of the strictest abortion bans in the country after 
the U.S. Supreme Court eliminated federal abortion uh, rights by overturning Roe v. Wade in 2022. The state banned abortion except in cases where there is a serious health, health, yeah, serious health risk to the mother. So note, they don't care if you've been raped. They don't care if it's incest. They don't care if it's, you know, the result of something else. None of that. It, 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 it could even be a case of the, the fetus itself is a problem. But as long as it's not a risk to you, they don't care. This is it, the way this is all worded is again forced birth, and the problem is, is we always have this weird rhetoric that gets used in uh, in this topic, where they only consider the physical health of the mother, never the mental and emotional health of the mother. And why do you think that is? Because they don't view women as people. They are walking incubators. They are birthing machines. That's all they're good for according to the right and according to conservatives and according to the Republicans. That's all they care about. And the funny thing is they keep doubling down on this thinking that they're going to make headway when it is widely unpopular. Brit's party is in the minority in the U.S. Senate and uh, has only a slim majority in the House. Her bill would need to be approved by both chambers and then be signed by Democratic President Joe Biden to become law, giving her proposal virtually no chance of making meaningful progress in the legislative process as is. However, I can see her proposing it now, trying to build up support, hoping that Trump gets in and then pushing it through under Trump. The speech Brit gave to review uh, Biden's State of the Union was panned by both parties. That's uh, after she invoked a story about child rape and she implied that uh, uh, that she implied had resulted uh, from the president's mis uh, president's handling of immigration in the U.S.'s uh, southern border. The abuse actually occurred early, uh, years earlier in Mexico while a Republican was president, a.k.a. George W. Bush. Brit's delivery, which oscillated between smiling and sounding as if she were on the verge of tears, was also a target of ridicule, though she defended her performance, even though her fellow Republicans kind of called her out on it. Um, and this is just a bunch of stuff about the author. Okay, so, again, what is, it, what is the upshot of all of this? The upshot is, once again, Republicans are showing their cards as being anti-woman, and pro-forced birth. This is something I've spoken out about multiple times in multiple fashions. Uh, this is just another one for the pile. And it's unfortunate because this country is better than this. I really do believe at our core, we are better than this. Unfortunately, we do still have to deal with this. And there's not much to be done about that until they realize this is such a losing issue that they drop it. Or at least it goes back into being kind of an in the closet sort of a situation. Do I see that happening anytime soon? Sadly, no. I think this is going to be something we're going to be dealing with and fighting for years to come. It's just. That's the price we pay for the uh, evangelical movement taking over the Republican Party. It sucks, but it is what it is. All right. That being said, uh, make sure that uh, when you see uh, petitions out there, trying to make sure that we can build support to have uh, women being in control of their own bodies again, uh, sign them. Donate to proper, uh, appropriate organizations, you know, vet them first, but you know, donate if you have that capability, that's all I can recommend. Make sure your voices are heard, you know, send letters, calls, all that kind of good stuff. But remember, don't threaten, do not threaten the, the Republican side, leave that shamefulness to them because they love 
to call up politicians. They love to call up pundits. They love to make sure that all their threats are either very thinly veiled or said outright. By the way, if you want to get a good example of that, I recommend that you check out Jesse Dalmore's channel. Uh, they recently dealt with a death threat and a uh, threat of violence of a different variety. And uh, it's, it's, it's harrowing and it's also a case of um, not acknowledging it just perpetuates more of it. All right. That being said, uh, comment section is open. Uh, please leave me your thoughts. And as always, you can like, share, and subscribe. That helps us. And uh, leaving comments in the comment section does help us with the algorithm. Thank you again. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Dave out.